Welcome to another special edition of the Taiwan Take. Today is part two of our mini series with Taiwan's Gold Card program. The Gold Card is a three-year visa program for foreign nationals looking for an open work permit and residency into Taiwan. Today, I spoke with Gold Card holder Louis Hung, who's had quite a life around the world. Has parachuted in southern Taiwan, drank beer in multiple beer gardens and Oktoberfest in Munich, Germany, raised a young family while in Malta, and now in Taiwan, Louis is the president of Taishing Life Insurance. So, for our listeners who watch professional basketball here in Taiwan, the name Taishing might ring a bell, and that's because they have a team in the P League. The Formosa Taishing Dreamers, based in Taichung, so this meant that Lewis also got to hang out with some pro players, and even opened two basketball seasons. All those cross-cultural experiences, though, it's given Lewis a lot of perspectives about team management. All right, let's talk about your life from Singapore to Munich to Malta.、Um, there was、uh, also Scotland in between, and then now in Taiwan. Right, you say soldiers because、uh, when you were 19, you came to Taiwan、mm-hmm. for the very first time, and that was with the Singaporean、uh, military、Correct. to Taiwan.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's something that Singapore and Taiwan have in common is that all men are required to participate in the military service.、Mm-hmm. Um, and you were in Taiwan for seven weeks with the special forces.、Mm-hmm. Tell me about this. First of all, the, there are some similarity between Taiwan and Singapore on the military services, but there are also some differences. So, for example,、uh, at my time, during my time, we our liability of serving full time national service is two and a half.、Mm. Now they cut down to two, and we have to serve、uh, immediately after high school, i.e.,、uh, after eighteen. Okay. So there's a two、uh, big differences. I enjoy my、uh, first training to to Taiwan a lot.、Uh, first of all,、uh, Singapore is a very tiny、uh, little country. Where we don't have enough land to carry out our training,、mm. so as a result of that,、uh, Singapore have、uh, many cooperation with overseas, Thailand, Australia, of course, include Taiwan. So、uh, we actually come here for、uh, to learn as well as to、uh, test our capability, particularly for example on navigation in the unknown or new terrain. So throughout this life. This career in risk assessment, trained as a military officer, right? Thinking about、mm-hmm. collective actions when it comes to battles, and and then as a pilot responsible for maybe two hundred people on on board. How do these experiences about strategy, precision, and life and death influence the way you later would think about your work in life insurance? It somehow t- influenced me as a person and how I lead a lot. To begin with.、Uh, Uh, people do not have the experience or the luxury to discover that they have unlimited potential.、Mm. So uh, uh, I was fortunate as a special force at 19. I discover this at a very early stage. So this ha- somehow helped me to have a ba- bigger dream of my whole career.、Uh, so that that's the one part.、Uh, the other part will be being a special force.、Uh, you. Somehow will be constrained by limited resource to carry out your operation. So at a very young age,、uh, I need to plan all this operation, and I start start to believe probably less is more.、Hmm. Less is more. Be focused, and your impact is probably greater than what uh, uh, you spread your resources around. So that's the second part. Less is more. Life is short and full of uncertainty. Uh, being a trained actuary,、uh, my professions help to、uh, bring the level of uncertainty to the lowest possible level. So these three、uh, probably navigate、uh, me throughout my career. Unleashing your potential, so that we can have bigger dreams. Realizing that less is more. So working with the resources that you have, and then knowing how to deal with uncertainties. I feel like all of us should go through special forces training. <laughs> <laughs> I 
mean, yes, of course, as you call it, localizing the condition, understanding what those local particular um, needs are to then to then be able to encourage and empower your teams. How long would you say for each of these locations you were at, how long was that learning curve for the culture? Not necessarily learning curve for mm. the company, but just for the local culture. Okay, one, once you have an open mind uh, and curious mind about learning the local culture, I think 50% of the problem is solved because mm. then you realize your problem that is to learn the local culture. As I move uh, from city to city, uh, the period to which you need to so-called uh, understand the local culture will get shorter and shorter. Of course, the first time you do it, it will take a bit longer, but soon as you, you get used to it, and as soon as now, if I walk into a, a new city or environment having a meeting, mm -hmm. I immediately can f smell the different culture. So mm -hmm. it, it requires some, some practical training, but uh, this period will get shorter and shorter. Um, you got your gold card in 2020? That's right. Tell me about the process. How actually this scheme helped me uh, is amazing because uh, uh, I came in late 2018 with a special work permit as an actuary and I enter. It is through the uh, early 2020 that uh, Potential Taiwan uh, have made a decision to exit Taiwan. So uh, the former permit is usually tied with uh, Potential Taiwan. So within a certain number of days, if the employment contract is uh, terminated, I and my whole family have to exit Taiwan. That creates a lot of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. And this gold card came, uh, so I applied, uh, and I got in on the 3rd of July. I remember this very well, 3rd of July 2020. I'm grateful to this because it is not linked to any employer. It's an open permit, and uh, you also have the right to stay, uh, plus your dependent. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for this, uh, to tie me through this period. The application pro process is actually uh, ver very easy mm. uh, because all the regulations are clearly stated uh, in the website. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Plus, they have a very uh, efficient platform that through the application to submitting your uh, document, all this can be done, everything done through that platform. And it's really easy to use. So I got my application pretty pretty quickly. And I, I was the uh, first, I think, less than 100 uh -huh. uh, under, the, uh, under the finance track. Oh, wow. That's really early on. That's good to hear that it was a really painless, simple process through the platform. Mm. Um, how fast are we talking that you got your... Uh, slightly more than a month. Wow. That's very efficient. Yeah. Plus... And this platform, this Go Cup, uh, actually helped me to uh, transit into a uh, longer plan into Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So uh, last mm -hmm. year, I had applied uh, uh, APRC, the Permanent Resident of Taiwan. That process is, is even shorter. Government of Taiwan have committed uh, 14 working days. You will get an uh, answer. No way. Yes, <laughs> I, I got it in the 13th day. <laughs> And the Gold Card program also holds a lot of socials and professional networking events. Mm. Have you been able to take advantage of those? Certainly, certainly. I think I attended a few, but my most um, nice trip that I've been was a day trip to Yilan. And it finished with uh, dinner with uh, NDC mm -hmm. uh, minister, yeah. Mr. Gong, where I then uh, understand the whole planning uh, on go card and the vision of the government a little bit better. How would you advise a new person coming to Taiwan? Overseas, for if it is for the first time, my top priority, top advice, having an open mind to uh, learn and respect the local culture because uh, without this, I don't see how you can push your strategy and execution plan effectively. Mm. So that's very important. As I said before, uh, if it is in Taiwan specific, it's advisable to, to learn the local language as much as you can. The reason being uh, the culture and the value and how the people think is embedded in their language. Yeah. So I don't see how you can get this without uh, some appreciation of the language. First time in Taiwan, then I will strongly encourage uh, people to consider go kart. It's a very good scheme for a few reasons. One is not tied to uh, a particular employer, so you got full flexibility on your career planning. You can observe from 
the go kart office when they craft out this scheme, they work uh, on even very detailed item such mm -hmm. as when you enter a uh, Taiwan immigration, there's mm -hmm. a special counter to which uh, go kart can take the advantage to avoid the long lengthy queue and oh. enter uh, Taiwan immigration. A uh, whole new, uh, a whole new counter, a counter for it. Yes. Nice. Okay. First time in Taiwan mm -hmm. working, you uh, will enjoy the tax advantage mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that the scheme come with. All right. Well, thank you so much for today. Um, I really enjoyed the conversation, and thank you for sharing uh, your life story and all your your philosophy about cross culture work and collaboration. I love the bits about the changing the mindset, and it does sound like I think for you. To me, it sounds like kind of every decade you are able to take your learnings from your previous decade to change your particular mindset and apply that into your current status at the time, wherever you are. And I find that so important. I really find that really valuable, some of the tips that you gave. Um, but also, yeah, I, another thing is, I guess the other one is if you have a young family, travel a lot because your young children cannot say no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I take full advantage that they are still uh, small in order to uh, have this venture. But it's really important to have your spouse, yeah. your wife to support you yeah, uh, yeah. throughout this journey, without which I don't think it's, it's possible or meaningful.